listening to podcasternews.com. Welcome to the LA Story Podcast with Stevie Wilson. Hey people, this is Stevie for the LA Story. Now you don't recognize this from the background, or maybe you will if I keep turning a little bit and then you see Penelope Cruz. We're at the L'Oreal store in Beverly Center and this is Collier Strong, the makeup director for, did I get that right? Consulting makeup artist. Consulting makeup artist, okay, so it keeps changing. I never get it right, sorry. It's okay. <laughs> He's gonna talk to us about trends on the red carpet and we're looking at eyes. Ice, yes. I think um, there's a big metallic trend that we're going to see, and it's a great way of making celebrities look natural, yet it adds a little pop to their to their makeup without being overly made up. Sure. And you can take a very natural makeup and, and add a metallic color over it, and it adds just a little glamour without being too made up, and we're going to see a lot of that. Any colors particularly that you are thinking? Really, it depends on um, what they're wearing. Okay. We dictate the color, so I think we'll see a wide range of colors. But I really? think that okay. on the red carpet, particularly, that metallics actually help highlight the skin and illuminate it and adds dimension. And it's easy to actually to wear that at home if you're going to a special party or something like that. It's an easy way to make your makeup stand out and pop again without wearing too much. Right. I did that this morning, actually. Yeah. Put on a, a, a mat and put on a something and then I put on a shade of metallic and went, yeah, it looks pretty good. Yeah, it, it, isn't it easy? It is. It's, yeah. it's just three steps and it just was like a smudge with a with my finger uh -huh. across the eye. It was like, yeah, okay, it can done. be just a, a little bit of a wash of color. It doesn't have to be that dramatic. It's, and it really did make a difference and I kind of went, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> and it had something new, you know, it's, a, it's, it's something yeah. fresh about it, so. Yeah, so it's, for the general public, what colors would you recommend them try? you got the hip collection, which is really fun. You've got all kinds of colors. Mm -hmm. what, for somebody who, let's not be conservative. Let's, somebody who wanted to go out on, an, on and be a little more edgy, what would you suggest that they try? Oh my gosh, uh, well, with color, it's, first of all, don't spend a lot of money. Okay. <laughs> buy, buy a L'Oreal shadow, then and play with it. And, right. And I love to try bright colors. I think if you do a wash of bright colors, it's really beautiful. I was doing my friend Sarah Chalk um, a couple weeks ago, and, I, and she was yeah. we were sitting in her living room. She had no mirror in front of her, and I put this teal, like, uh, green across her eye, and just this beautiful wash of color. And then she went and looked at herself. She said, wow, she would never expect it that color to look good on her. And so it's really fascinating when you just try something that mm -hmm. you would normally not use. And it looks, it's only makeup, it's fun. You know, you can always take it off. If it that's right, work. you can wash it off. Exactly. And it's so, it's like the ultimate fashion thing you can do that's right. so easy without right. a lot of it's like it's, it's less of an investment than a new outfit. That's and for so, sure. So, you know, why not? Exactly. Yeah. Okay, so lips. How would, if you're doing a metallic eye, what kind of lips are you looking at? I like to wear, like, just a, a satin matte finish. So not a satin matte, but a, more of a satin finish. So okay. You still have um, a moist, a moist uh, sheen to the lip, um, but nothing overly glossy. It doesn't have to be, you know, you're not, like, metallic on the eye, metallic lip gloss. You know, it can be subtle so that the eyes are really featured. Okay. That sounds But also there was a, a lip trend that I saw, too, that we might see on the red carpet as okay. well. And that is a bright lip. We saw a lot of red lips on the runway. And so I think that there are a few girls that will be brave enough to, like, take that trend and wear it on the red carpet. Again, depending on... Scarlett Johansson. Fantastic. Uh, red. Example. Red. Yeah. And, um, and so it really, again, dictate, is dictated by fashion. Exactly. So that will be kind of interesting to see what happens uh, for the Golden Globes, but also for the Oscars and every other event that's coming up between now and the end of exactly. February. It should be really interesting. Yeah. So this, we'd like to thank call you for his time, and we'll be back real soon because we're going to talk about something else. This is Stevie for the LA Story. Thank you soon. Bye. Thanks for joining Stevie Wilson on L.A. Story. Feel free to check out other podcasts and videos. Bookmark it now. www.la-story.com